function notation with polynomials, we're just going to look at a couple quick examples here of how we could use what we know about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing polynomials, but with function notation. So let's look at one quick example. We have evaluate f of x equals 2x plus 5 and g of x equals 4x minus 4. And we want to find if g of x is multiplied to f of x. So while g of x is re referring to this expression, that's referring to 4x minus 4, f of x is referring to 2x plus 5, and we want to multiply these together. So we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. And our method we like to use that combines the associative and distributive properties for multiplying two binomials is FOIL, going first, outside, inside, last, to multiply our two binomials together. Remember, we only use FOIL for multiplying. We never use FOIL for add and subtract. We only use FOIL when we multiply a binomial times a binomial. We also don't use FOIL if it's a binomial times a trinomial. So FOIL only works for binomial times a binomial. And then we're just going to do first times first. Well, first we have 4x and 2x. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Then we're going to do the outside. 4x times 5x is 20x. Inside, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And last, we have negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Then sometimes we'll have like terms we can combine. Sometimes we won't. In this case, we have a fairly common pattern of like terms in the middle. We have a positive 20x and a negative 8x. And when I combine a positive 20x and a negative 8x, I get positive 12x. So my answer would be 8x squared plus 12x minus 20. So we're looking at this operation sign of this one. We had this little dot that was in between them that told us we were going to multiply. Now, I want you guys to pause the video here, and I want you to find g of x minus f of x. So this one is subtraction. So guys, go ahead, try to subtract those two polynomials. Pause the video here. Come back see how you did. All right. Welcome back. So g of x was our 4x minus 4 minus our f of x was 2x plus 5. Now, with polynomials, it's the same, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, or you can think of it as distributing that negative sign. Either way, that minus needs to apply to the 2x, and the minus sign needs to apply to the 5. So the first term, 4x minus 4, just stays the same. And then we're subtracting 2x, and then remember to apply that negative sign to the 5. And that's the most common mistake people will make, is they'll forget to apply the negative sign to the 5. Now it's just a matter of combining like terms. We just combine like terms. We have a 4x and a negative 2x, and they combine to be 2x. And then we have two constants, uh, the numbers without variables. We have a negative 4 or subtract 4 and a negative 5 or subtract 5, and those combine to be negative 9. And you want to keep away from those double signs there. Just a single sign is all we need. Keep it as clean and simple as possible. So we have 2x minus 9. And I hope that helps you guys clear up any kind of confusion you might have when you're using function notation with polynomial problems and examples. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.